Hello friends, it's your buddy Nick here again with the guys. We are playing some Dark Souls 1 and we're picking up where we left off where we fought the Iron Golem here in Sen's for Fortress. But now it's time to examine a ring of light. Here we are in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and Orlando. Such amazing architecture. Uh, if you are a big fan of the Souls series, then you need to do yourself a favor and go to a German spies channel and just watch anything where he's talking about an Orlando, an Orlando because he it just... That guy just knows the ins and outs of the game and just... All the details about the inspirations of different types of architecture and his videos are just a pleasure to watch. So, go watch his stuff. Do it! Alright, I'm kind of going to run through here and even though um, I'm going to try to quickly get through Analando, it's still so big this might actually end up taking two episodes but, you know, we'll see. Let's repair some stuff and talk to our friend, the firekeeper over here. Hello, friend, the firekeeper. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anorlando, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. I don't think I have any Firekeeper souls. Nope. Hmm. What is it? What am I? Well, I am the Keeper of the Bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. The bonfires attended by the Keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the Keepers of these flames meet. Now, I was just noticing her scabbard there does not seem to have a weapon in it. But, um, I'm not going to attack her because I really want her to stay here. <laughs> and... So I don't really know what type of weapon she comes at you with, but it, it appears that it is empty or yeah, looks empty. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. If you require rest, okay. now is the time. That seems to be all she has to say at the moment. Let's run over here and go down this neato elevator. This elevator. Here we go. Whoop. Got a little impatient there. All right. Now, there is a gargoyle out here to fight. So let's get all ready to rock against this guy. I'm not really sure what my best method of attacking him is. If it's going to be magic, or if it's going to be melee. That was kind of dumb. I can just kind of get a little distance here. He's got his little swingy butt flip. Oh, this seems to be a bad angle for him. Alright, well. Cool. 
Now, you can hear the elevator, its gears or whatever is just grinding as it, as it goes upward and downward. And I think that there is some demon titanite here. I don't remember. Yes, demon titanite. Now, we want to run over on the other side here, and this is one of those things where if you played this game and you did not, like, search for any help online, I don't know how you ever found this. I did not ever think to come up here and look for this. I had to look at wikis and all sorts of stuff like that to find out where to go. I thought that I had just gone all the way through this area. Went and backtracked other lands and stuff. And I hate that when you walk through there, a lot of times it messes with the camera and makes you look like you're going to fall off. But anyway. Oh! Oh, I hate that little fall there. Let's see. Alright. I like when they kill these guys in one hit. Um, oh, he got me a present too. What did you bring me? Some throwing knives. I love throwing knives. And that guy tried to give me a throwing knife, too. Oh, maybe he gave me some more. He did give me more throwing knives. Let's look in our... Okay. Let's get rid of those. And you know what? I think through this area we're going to do some hidden body. Because uh, this can be really dangerous with these guys up here. So using the fog ring or hidden body, something like that, can really help out. Um, and... Ugh. These areas in any of the Souls games just really... <clears throat> excuse me. These are just the worst because, I mean, I don't like heights in real life. And, I mean, even though this is just a video game, this is still just, like, too much. Let's see if I can shoot this guy down before he sees me. Nope. Uh-oh. I was like, hopefully he doesn't knock me off. All right. Whoa! Fell down to his death. And then you can swing at this deal. And that crashes down below there. And gives you a new... Uh, there's a new spell hiding on that. So, that's a cool thing to get. Um, probably want to use this before this guy gets a chance to see me. And hopefully I can get in here and take this guy out. Oh, shit. All right. That guy's gone. Like I said, this place can just be super, super dangerous. Because any little mistake is going to send you careening to your death. And I was hoping I could get a refresh on that. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No, no, oh no, careening to your death, damn it. Oh shit, oh man, that terrified me. Okay, now I am safe? For now? <laughs> God. Alright, let's get the uh, little extra goodies down here. My stomach is growling. I just had lunch, too. I don't know why it's, uh, why it's freaking out at me. Let's see if I can hit this guy around the corner. Nope. Come on. There we go. Hopefully that was enough to kill him. Yep. And up here we have... What's in here? I think this is a... A divine blessing. Okay. It's exactly what I thought it was. And... Back across here we got... Some statue friends. Some knights. And, um... Gwen... One of the Gwens. Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Guinevere. Just Gwen. I don't know why she goes by these days. Oh! Come on, buddy. 
come get some. Can I... Oh, got him. I love when you can clip through walls like that. That is very helpful. Whoop. Falling down the stairs. And here we go out here. All right. Let's see. I can bring this down. Lack of this. Alright. Now. Whoa, shit! I didn't realize that that guy was already after me. Here we go. What's up, homie? Don't get me with your... Oh! I tried to dodge. Let's see if I can just kind of lure you in different directions. This is kind of an interesting place to fight him. He usually wants to fight you out on the bridge, but, you know, whatever. Oh. Lucky that uh, uh, I'm just slightly lower than him, so my... Uh, his uh, The plane of his swing there just went right over my head. But, let's go ahead and run down here. And eventually get to the bottom of this thing. Run, 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 run. And you know what? Let's use some hidden body. And we'll see if we can take a bunch of these guys out. This is the easiest way to kill all these guys. And here's some of the bodies of the guys that fell down from above. Hopefully, hidden body doesn't doesn't run out on me while I'm in the middle of a bunch of these dudes. Because, man, okay, one of these guys can be tough to fight on his own, but three or four is basically suicide. So I've got one more of these left, and hopefully this will be enough to get me through all these guys. Yeah, they're... If they can't see you, they're pretty easy pickings. Oh, that one gave me some humanity and I just gotta go through and just kill all these dudes super super quick and I think there's one more left in here guarding some armor back this way but like I said one guy on his own he can be kinda tough but um, you really really just don't want to fight more than one of them at once now here's some armor that is believed to be Maybe, uh, Tark's armor? But I don't really know. And then here is a beautiful painting that, if I had the right item, Contraption doesn't move. I don't know why they say Contraption, because you really kind of just get, like, pulled into it. It's not like you're, um, I don't know. It's not like you're really moving a lever or something like that. But anyway... Let's run back out here. And you can actually take this further down. And there's a bonfire down below, down below there. But I don't really want to use that bonfire. I do probably want to come back to the top over on the side where I came in and open up a few of the chests over there that are available and kill off some of those big bad night guys. So let's just run back over there. Okay, you know what, actually, let me just jump in here, see if I can get a level real quick. Yeah, that's nice. Got to boost up my intelligence so that I can uh, use the uh, this new spells that I bought. 
Love that Soul Spear. Unlike in uh, Dark Souls 2, Soul Spear in Dark Souls 1 is awesome. I mean, it's strong in, in Dark Souls 2, but in Dark Souls 1, it is super rad. So, let's see if I can just kind of get one of these guys to fight me at a time. Fighting two at a time can be problematic. So, let's see if I can just kind of come over here. And... No. Okay, well... Oh, shit. Let's see if I can get this guy to come after me. And their shields just block absolutely everything. Okay, he wants to turn around. He doesn't see him anymore. Okay, well, that's cool. Well, if these guys don't really like magic, then they're not going to like my... my scythe. Oh, not quite killed him yet. Come here, buddy. Do your shield bash again. That one's actually pretty easy to avoid. Oh, one more. One more hit. That one is tough. Stupid, stupid shield. Oh! And he follows it up with that other swing. There we go. Clonk. Alright, so, we'll see here. This is a bad guy. You can see by the chain there, it points outward. This is a real chest. The, the uh, chain curves back around. And I'm, I don't know, I'm I'm going through this almost like a tutorial, but I figure that most people that have actually seen this, or have that are watching this, have played this game before, so I don't know why I'm trying to teach you stuff. Come on, take that guy out. One more. One more shot. Boink! So he's got some goodies for me here. This is that crystal halberd. And I haven't really used a lot of crystal weapons in this game. I don't really like that you can't repair them. Because <laughs> I like like to find a weapon and use it for a long time. Um, but, I mean, if you want to just use it for just boss battles or something, the only way I know of that you can repair it is actually to upgrade it. And that usually repairs an item. Well, always repairs an item. So, if you kind of just upgrade it after each boss battle or after a few boss battles to keep it along. It won't be super strong to start out, but I mean, at least you'll be able to use it multiple times. Oops, I'm using the wrong spell here. Come on, buddy. Is he going to forget about me or is he going to get close enough to see me? Nope. You going to get close enough this time or are you going to turn back around? Oh, turns back around. And... Yeah. These guys don't really hang out for too long. <laughs> They're like, oh. And you can get relatively close before they aggro. Woo! And they've got a hell of a reach, let me tell you. And second swipe. Let's see if I can get him with that shield. Oh, shit. I was trying to dodge to the side, but that just did not work out the way I wanted it to. Come on, buddy. Do your shield bash again. That's my favorite. Because you can just get right behind him. And an easy, easy pick off. And these guys can drop stuff, but they rarely do. Ah, who's our friend here? You look awfully familiar. And what is in here? I think this is Twinkling Titan? Oh, Demon Titanite. Okay. Well... Let's go and heal up, and then we'll get to probably everybody's most hated part of the game. Um, so, <laughs> like I said, let's heal up real quick, and then we can go over there. So let's see if this works. As I recall, you can... I've got too much stuff in here now. If you kind of pick this guy off in the butt, 
usually kind of runs off the cliff there. And that's a good way to just get a, like, a little bit of... Just a quick, easy 500 souls. <laughs> and then these guys, as I said before, do not... They tend to be kind of far away. Um, or... What I was going to say is... Oh, man. Let's see if I can get some... Some poison on this guy. Let's see if I can kill him with poison. There we go. And he gets a little cloud around him. And I don't know if... Oh, this guy's coming after me. Well. Ah, I hate that shield. Blocks everything. If, you were just, if I knew you were just going to come after me like that, I wouldn't have shot you with some valuable, valuable poison arrows. And whoop. I thought you had a follow-up to that. I guess not. Come on, buddy. Let's see if we can get one more big attack should do it. Oh. Come on. Oof. There, that was the one that has the follow-up. Okay. Different attacks. Ooh, what did he leave me? A halibird. A giant halibird, nonetheless. Some very ornate doors. And these guys, you got some of the knights that we will meet inside, all hanging out outside here. And you'll see that this gate is open on this side, but on the other side, it is locked. So, we'll get back through there at a different time. And then this one also does have a small door on it, just like on the other side. So let's see if I can, uh, mm, we'll use this. There we go. Get a couple of shots in on him real quick. Let's see if I can just knock this guy off. Oh, there he goes. And this guy. And whoop. Oh, shot over his head. Ah. Oh. My swing was too slow. Or my, my shot was too slow on him. Alright. These guys can be kind of tough. Um, I haven't played this in a while, so we'll see how well I do. Oh, there we go. That was nice. Uh-oh. Oh. That's bad. I really do not want to get hit by one of those big spear, spear-looking arrows. Oh man, oh jeez, oh man, that angle, that angle almost killed me. All right, let's get up here. Oh, ooh, this is this is a part that I really, really hate. <laughs> yeah, and as I said, most people really hate this. Um, So what you can do, if you have the fog ring, these guys won't see you, and you can actually um, take a shot at them. And if you do it just right, you can make it so it bounces, so the arrow hits them in the head, and keeps them from being able to um, counterattack. But what I'm going to try here is just a little bit of poison instead. And... I do kind of want to do it in the spot where I think it's going to... Yeah, that'll keep him from... And the poison's taking command of him. So let's see if I can get this other guy, too. Um, this guy's a little bit closer. So you got to kind of do just a little bit differently. Oh, turned around. And he's going to fire at me. That's bad news. Damn. So, but the poison has taken effect on the other guy there. I gotta wait for this guy to uh, forget about me on this left side here so that I can shoot him again with uh, poison arrows. And the top right corner, you can see the one guy's uh, health draining down. 
Okay, the guy on the left has forgotten about me. And let's, oops, let me get out here first so I don't fall off. Yeah, and if these guys actually hit you with an arrow, you're pretty much just going to fall to your death, so. And, damn it. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get them right there. And it looks like it's taking effect. Oh. Alright, let's see. This, let's see, I can get both of their hit points on there. And I think just one poison round will actually kill them. So, let's just fast forward and wait it out. And there you have it. Both these guys are dead. And I remain unscathed. That's probably the easiest way to kill these guys. You can just barrel through and run up and, and fight them head on. But the chances of falling to your death are pretty high. So um, using some ranged techniques like that, it's a little bit safer, but not without its problems also. Um, oh, he left me a present. I love when these guys leave presents. And right down over here, not only is there this little present, some Dragon Slayer arrows, but down here, I believe this is a soul of a hero. So a whole bunch of, whole bunch of souls for getting levels and stuff. All right, let's run back up here, and we're almost inside of. Well, I don't, I don't know what this building would be called over here, but we're almost inside the main castle area, I guess. And um, this is probably where I'll call it quits after I get into this first uh, this first bonfire in here. I've been recording for about 35 minutes now. And I know some areas I'm going to fast forward, so I'll end up being a little bit shorter. But let's go ahead. I'll kill one of these guys in here. Jump into the bonfire and talk to our good buddy Solaire that's waiting for us there. See if I can get a... Oh, way too early. <laughs> Alright, well, what I don't want to do is die before I light the bonfire. And this guy's going to follow me in here. Oh! Let's see if I can get a backstab in on him. There we go. Oh! Don't know why he was able to change directions so quickly, but... Man, I haven't played this in forever, and I am sucking right now. Oh. That is awful. Oh, that was so dumb. All right, well, this time, as you can see, I don't have a blood stain in here because, of course, I messed up on the run back. Twice. So, um, let me uh, take the time to... Ah. Uh, Yes. Yes, please. Rest up, and then I'll talk to Solaire real quick. Oh, man. God, I hate that part. That is the worst. All right. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, there you are. You Here I am. You've quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime <laughs> you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. You'll get your chance. What else do you have to say? You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Solaire, honestly, you are solidly in the friend zone right now. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know... Oh no. All right. Well, that'll do it for this time. Ugh, get out of here, table. Anyway, thank you for watching, everyone. If you want to get the latest news and notes, be sure to check out the website, GameWithTheGuys.com. Subscribe to my channel so you can get all the videos directly into your feed. And for my sake, just hit that like button a couple of times here and there. Leave some comments so we can get some discussion going. And once again, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you next time.
on Game with the Guy.